Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're jumping back into Osiris New Dawn. If you guys remember, this is really a fun, fun survival game. And it's been a while and there's been tons of updates one after another. It, it really, this development team has been working their butts off to get this going. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to jump in and of course, see more about all the updates. There's also a new progression on uh, how we get our like workbenches and stuff so very cool and you can actually check it right here if you want to and it shows you here build progression unlock system now it unlocks as we put down things which makes a lot more sense to me but we'll see if it works out and again they're testing out a whole bunch of stuff if you're enjoying this and you want to see more of it please take time hit the like button if you're brand new please go and subscribe let's go and have some fun all right let's start off making yourself a new avatar because the last one we're gone and i really there's a different ones you can have here you have science that's really high on this one of course a scientist and you gotta be careful i like the mixture of this one which is 10 10 10 10 and uh, we're gonna go with the male because that's what i prefer perfect and right over here we have different colors of course we can check out and put on here i do like the red on this guy it looks really cool uh, but i figured since a new season maybe we'll just go full out green <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, no, seriously, let's uh, let's bring out the red here and the black, and I like that. And of course, you can pick up details and glow. The glow changes up the lights, and I'm mistaken. Yes, I like the green lights. It doesn't change your lights when you're actually using it. it just looks cool on your guy itself. So pretty nice. And uh, there's also, of course, detail. If you want to, you can uh, put in different kind of stuff all over. Uh, you can go white, black, and stuff. I like the black and trim with the red, of course. So we're gonna run with that, and uh, let's start this up. And of course, we can choose this height and stuff. I'm going to stay pretty standard because uh, last time we were hitting the, pretty much when we were walking, I felt like I was hitting everything. We'll give him some uh, massive forearms. <laughs> Guy's going to be picking up a lot of stuff. Let's give him some stuff. I don't think this has any effect whatsoever. You know, big hands, of course. And you know what they say about big feet. Might as well have it. And there we go. Some uh, some serious calves on him and then some serious thighs. <laughs> it's not going to be able to walk. It's going to be... That would be great. All right. Let's confirm that. And we have, of course, ourselves some 10, well, 10 of these little buggers here. Uh, I believe strength's going to help us carry more, if I'm mistaken. So we're going to want, actually, I'm probably going to go even Steven on this one here. And then give myself a little bit of strength and health uh, just to keep myself going. Speed's also very good, but hopefully we'll find ourselves a buggy. Uh, from what I also read, there's a brand new buggy that we can just pick up on the map now. It doesn't, uh, it also takes a bio. You can upgrade it to actually get bio uh, fuel in it, which is really great. You can take plant life and then shoot it in there and it makes its own biofuel. I don't know. That's why I've been reading a lot of stuff to go through and have some fun. So let's confirm that. And then we have, of course, our assigned skill points. Very important stuff. We have no choice but to start on some of these here. And it does tell you combat 10 engineering points 10 and of course science points so these are science on this side uh this one will give us a solar panel outfit which we have no choice but we're going to take it anyways because i want it this gives you what already we already have this no we don't metallurgy all right allows you to separation of alloys into their base elements in the forge interesting that's 15 point ruse though we don't have that we'll have to start off with what we can do increases uh spacewalk speed we're not gonna be in space but uh, where does this go to on this side here fruit yield and uh, increase yeah months and potency so i'm gonna want to get that and over here is what boost fruit nutrition i'm gonna get that too because it's kind of an issue uh, early on we're gonna need that a faster plant growth Ooh, pretty cool i guess that's when we actually need it though we don't have that ability to make our own and i think that's all we can do with six science points and we have a zero science points left that's all good that uh, right over here is combat which is uh, going to give us this one here which is increased melee damage one available Thank you very much for saying available. Melee weapon damage, 10% plus two. All right, I'll take it. And increases also mining. So again, if I had chosen a scientist, I would have had more science points and be able to boost this up. These are the points I'm talking about. I just want to kind of have a guy as mixed out on the amount of points he can do, and he can do multiple things. Increase mining damage. Uh, yeah, I'll take that big time. And this is six more points. We don't have it. We only have four more points. And I don't know if we can grab... Yeah, well, here we go. Combat. Projectile damage. Sure. No choice in the matter. We're going to grab this here too. Salvage faster. Hell yeah. And what is this here? Increases hover boot. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I mean, it's it's good. But it's I can stay walking around right now. We should be fine without the hover boots. I'm going to want to get to salvage faster because it can make my life a lot easier. Salvage bonus plus... That is really nice. Don't have the points for that. And we have one point left. And I think we, well, we went a different direction than I guess the game expected. And also craft faster, which was great too. Oh my God, repair. 
high durability. So yeah, things we'll have to look at afterwards. Uh, we're gonna keep some uh, points as we go through it. And uh, yeah, let's go for confirm that baby. Do we have everything else? Does it let me? Good, assigned name. All right, well, we're gonna give him a GE on this one. And normal, of course, you have different things. We're gonna stay with normal, extreme, creative. Also, you can craft uh, without worrying in the creatures and survival. And there's a lot of creatures out here. There is, it is very difficult. Uh, this is a letter of Cyrus. I want to go normal. I think that's pretty good. All right, suit breach. Your suit's been breached. Pick up the patch tape. Uh, where is that? It's been a while. Okay, pick that up. We'll uh, pick this up too, I think. We're going to need... No, we need to need the patches. All right, uh, inventory. What does it say here? Right click, right mouse button on the patch tape. Press F to view... F1. There we go. Been a while. There we go. Use. Whew. All right. I think I'm going to need to pick you up now. And we're going to bandage yourself up, too, if uh, needed, because, uh, yeah, it's kind of important. I think we're healing uh, ourselves here. Oh, thank you. All right. Escape pod. Find pod door. This is it here. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay, escape pod. Use survival knife, which is number two, I think. There we go. And get the heck out of dodge. Woo! We've escaped. It looks like it's a little bit darker than I expected in here. All right. Well, we'll, we'll try our best to... Uh, Take apart every little bits and pieces in here. Looks pretty cool. I'm not sure which location this is. It's not so much of it's changed. I might actually want to go and find myself a better location than here right now. I feel like crabs are nearby or something. Oh, no. Not feeling too uh, too good about this. Does it show me anywhere in my map? Do I have one right now? I don't know if I have a map currently. And there's options, skills here, field bandage. Okay. And missions and stuff we'll have to look at. All right. First things first. Uh, let's work on taking apart this baby. And again, thankfully enough, we have the points in there, so it should go a little bit faster than usual. If you don't pick those points, you'll be taking a little longer to take apart things. All these things are giving us some great, great stuff right now. Why does my guy feel like he's walking a little slower than usual? Kind of weird. Just a walking speed, not the running. Maybe it's my speed, really. I usually I put maybe one more point in there. It's all good. We'll, we'll get to uh, updating ourselves, I think, later on. So we'll see how it goes. Again, if you're enjoying the series, please take time, hit the like button. If you're brand new, please go subscribe. It tells me, of course, you want to see more of it. And I definitely want to build and get myself going and see all the brand new stuff. A lot of things were fixed. A lot of issues that we know about prior that kind of stopped us from playing last time uh, have been fixed. And they do recommend, of course, brand new games on these ones. It is experimental branch. So if you're wondering where all these updates, they do update the normal branch too at the same time, which is great. I don't know if I can, I don't think I can do anything else. It shows up on your... These things are never pretty much. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay. Well, there's stuff on the ground. Let's uh let's pick these things here. Some space debris, which is our stuff. And there's also food and, and stuff around the ground. A little bit harder to find on this one because uh the ground is a little bit off. The other one has like a nice little area where we could pick up things. We could see it. It was nothing on the ground to bother us, which I really enjoyed. Uh, but we'll just deal with whatever we've been given here. This is great. I'll accept it. This is what rock. And we need to, yeah, get ourselves a pickaxe for that one. The first level pickaxe. Each one of the rocks and stuff have different, well, hardness, it says on the bottom. This one's a 0 0.5, so it doesn't need anything big. Just needs something uh, regular. All right. Let's see here. It just must be more stuff here on the ground because I don't see it. Huh. All right, this is rock output two. Another rock output. It's definitely dark in this little area. Holy crap, I'm not used to being in a, such a... Uh, darkish area here i don't know i I'm, i remember seeing a lot more stuff than that there you go med kit there we go it's all here some more patch tape we can make also our own patch tape there's some containers more patch tape here okay so just a little tougher to see and i think we get our lights do take up batteries so i believe we need to interchange those now they used to not be but now of course it's getting a little more advanced they're getting their game together and we're going to want to get that to be used afterwards get batteries going and stuff all right grab that too mission change view also here you go let's do that you can change up views and check out the whole area it looks pretty darn nice and snazzy also you need to build a shelter you're staying on a bomb we will make a hut and stuff sample plant life we'll need to do that with a knife and i guess we'll come back here and double check there might be more stuff in here i just don't see it possibly because of how dark it is you guys will probably see a little better i will probably lighten up the video anyways as we're going through us so there's some stuff that may be strewn around out of a place and look for more debris and other things it may have even gone that way anyways let's go and check out the plant life the purple ones is what we really want oh it's another part of the ship up here dudes 
Okay, let's go up here. And of course, we got our hover. I didn't invest too much in hover, right? And skills and stuff, so. Yeah. We'll have to unlock that later on. It'll give us a little more bang for a buck. What's that? Something said broken. I didn't see. I think it's one of those uh, scrap hinges. Okay, let's we'll land on this. Still, the hover is good enough. You see, it wasn't like it wasn't able to get up on top of this. All right, good to know. Fall damage is a thing. <laughs> just dropped and hurt myself. Oh, just a tiny bit there. Okay, we're going to salvage whatever we possibly can off this thing. I don't think there's anything in the back of this. Uh, it does show up, like I said, a full circle will pop up, as you saw when I was salvaging the rest of this stuff. Uh, so if there's anything else that's around here... Ooh, okay. You do have to kind of, like, adjust the mouse sensitivity when you walk in here and play, by the way, if you're wondering. <laughs> I have to kind of stop it for a second and kind of play with it. I feel like uh, I'm on my full DPI and it's still not working, so maybe some things were adjusted as the game was built. And it looks like another part of a rocket over here, too. Again, all this stuff is great. We're we'll able to make... Oop, not this part. There we go. This part of the rocket's great. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The pod. What else can I do? Can I do this one? Yeah. You can see it there. Full green bar. Circle. Boom. Done. Maybe I won't be able to go up there. Yeah, watch out again. Fall damage. Real thing. Ain't nothing like the real thing. So you crush yourself. Oh, it looks like a nice opening here on the right-hand side. I'm going to want to kind of check this stud out, I think, and see what that's all about. And is there anything else here I can grab? I think that one up here. At least I could do it from this angle. I always come back to. I don't want to spend, like, all day doing this because there's a lot of things to get done. Uh, but we can probably just reach it just one second just to double-check it because, like I said, the components are pretty darn important as heck. Okay. Yeah, that's where, you know, a little bit more bang for your buck would have been great. Oh, it looks like we killed something when it landed. Or not just shedding, okay. <laughs> I thought the rocket killed it. It was pretty good placement for it. All right. It might be more stuff again. We'll come back and check it out. We need to get ourselves out and also hitting up some plants and stuff. I'm looking for the purple ones because I know I can make stuff with that unless they change it up. There's a lot of minerals and stuff. There's scanners now uh, that you can actually do from base and also on your vehicles. It looks like more mines have been added too from what I heard. There's one there too. Very nice. Okay, a little bit of stab issues for this dude. We're all good. But does it automatically... Oh, it automatically goes into your inventory now? Okay, that's sweet. One of the things that really was kind of tough, uh, it was finding those little berries and stuff after you've used it. Uh, well, hit it, and next thing you know, you'd be looking all over the ground for like a couple of minutes to try and pick them all up. So this is good. There is a limit to the uh, trees prior. I'm pretty sure there'll be a limit here too. Uh, we'll need all this, plus some fiber, which is right next to us. This one is done for. Watch out for those little prickly things. A bit of a pain in the butt. We'll collect them now anyways. And you can also you can do here required tools, sharp tools, different things. You can actually use extraction of things too. So requires tools for cable. So there's different things you can get from these with different tools. That's what they're trying to say, I believe. Anyways, so grab that. We'll make ourselves some patch tape too. We're going to need some of those big time. So yeah, let's go to our crafting menu over here. You can see a whole bunch of goodies here. Inventory and E is crafting, which is an odd thing, but it's fine. We can make some makeshift patch tape. This will help you if you're breaching your suit and other things. We'll need cloth for that. Cloth, of course, will take alien fiber. You need to hold it until you get yourself a crafting bench. All right. So you got to kind of be patient and hold it down, which is good. It all works. And then you can grab some patch tape. That's where the berries come in handy. And we'll make some makeshift stuff like that actually uh yeah i'm gonna need some red berries for that one eh? okay so we'll get ourselves some more fiber and some stuff for getting some healing going we want some uh, nice healing and we'll be able to put these things uh afterwards into our hot bar here some healing power again we have a limited amount of space we have inside our inventory so just gotta be careful and also wait so yeah that's a thing so i guess we'll go for the red berries too completely forgot those were part of that we need some more fiber those prickly ones, I don't think we're going to need them right away. We'll get much better tools as we progress this. That's supposed to be great. It's going to help us out. And then we'll be able to just grab more bang for a buck. Right now, of course, one more skill and science points keeps on popping up. Uh, everything is on ordinary. I didn't put up anything or updated. I'm not sure if you can do it anymore. Which you're able to up to all the stuff we're able to, of course, harvest and things. I want to play the game as developers want it kind of be. And uh, if there is the ability, then so be it. But uh, not for us today. We're going to be testing out the game. You know, we've got to see what it looks like. 
So slash and dash. There we go. And there's some more stuff here. Let's just open this up really quick. And it said E for crafting. Still very odd. Oh, it's not E for crafting. What the hell is it then? Yeah, it says E for crafting. Anyways, we'll, we'll, I'll deal with that. Probably look at it afterwards. It should be C for crafting. Just saying. Okay, make a bandage. All right, we need a lot more fiber. Need more fiber. And pretty much plants will just give you what you need right there. Alien fiber is everywhere. So don't go looking on aliens and stuff. Uh, just that's all it is. It's just this fiber here. I don't like this area to build in, by the way. Uh, reason for that is this ground stuff. Last time, I, oh, is this not okay? There we go. This is good too. We should got to pick up all the sheddings and stuff. If I can find any little fangs or talons, I think they are. I'm not sure what they're called. We can make ourselves a pickaxe and such. So we'll do that. All right, pick up a bunch of junk. Like every survival game, you must pick up the junk. Right, that's nice. Alien fiber, alien fiber. Again, let's go back up here. They want us to really uh, go and find here, find rocks and such. We're going to need to craft up an axe for that. And we'll check this out in a second. Let's going to try C. Nope, it's not working. All right. Go over here. It looks like we got a bit of a storm coming in. Hopefully that won't screw us over as we're going through this. All right, so we'll make some more cloth. And we're going to check on just looking at the pickaxe crab one we can make. Make a couple more badges just in case of emergency. All right. And again, we'll mess around with all that stuff afterwards. Get a little more barriers since we're near it. And then we're going to head out towards a better area, hopefully. All right. Here's one of the mines. This one is what? Alpha Mine B Entrance. Right? We're not ready for that yet. There's going to be some creatures in there so we don't want to mess with right now. We've got to find some rock in the ground here. There's one there. And it's usually around these areas too. I can always find some. There we go. All right, so you know what? F3 works for opening up this. I, I went and just put everything default for some reason. I'm not sure why the letters here show up. I think it's just go back and forth to switch over from each and every one of them. So it's my bad. I thought it was a shortcut key, but it isn't. It's just to kind of go through all of these. So F3 is to open up that, and we can also open up our map and such. Right here, we can scan out and tells you a little bit of the area where you're at. I believe there is a nice area back down here, which we can build pretty darn decent. I uh, hear it's not horrible, but it's not great. All right, let's go and check this out here. We need to find ourselves, uh, make ourselves sorry, a blade. So let's do that now. I can know the keys a little better and make ourselves a blade, right? That's what they wanted. Is this stone blade they really want? Sh okay, sharp blade crafted, all right? Sharp blade crafted it is. Sharp blade, sharp blade. There we go. I'm, what am I missing for this? I am going to be missing some stone blade, which is this one here. And then we'll make a sharp blade. Very nice. So now we have that in our inventory here. We can utilize that to defend ourselves a little bit better. Uh, this will do a little bit better job, if not mistaken. 2 to 14 damage. Uh, this one here is 4 to 6. We definitely want to use that if we can. So let's slide that over here. It does have, of course, it can degrade. So just be careful. I'm going to need to make a pickaxe. But that is going to take some spider stuff, if I'm not mistaken. I call them big spiders. You'll see what I mean when I see them. There's a ship right there. That's not a bad place to be, I think. Could be a little dangerous down here, though. I don't know. I don't remember. It looks completely different from the time I've been down here. It just looks... I like this idea. These areas here, I do like building in them, but again, it's because a lot of flat space for us to go. Probably a Nero mine is the best, uh, but I'm going to see if there's any resources down there. Oh my god, this is pretty far up, dude. Far down, I mean, <laughs> we're far up. Holy crap. I want to get there, but I'm not feeling confident about that drop. Yeah, it's a straight down, holy crap. Let's pray we don't die kind of drop. I'm not liking that at all. Oh, oh, oh. We got ourselves something else here. This is good. Sometimes we find some good loot in here. And there's some... Okay, we have barriers, not mistaken, right? F1, here we go. These are edible. Yes, plus four health. Gives you 16 and four water. So uh, we're going to invest in that. That's why I took up so many of these. And which one give you? Eight liquids and minus two health. So we want to eat the red berries. <laughs> red berries are good. Those are important. That was my starvation hydration. So right up here, you got a hydration and this nutrition in the middle. This is hydration there. So I don't think we're so desperate, but we'll have to grab it and eat whatever we possibly can. So it's trying to stay near some of those plants too. We can always go back. Not mistaken, every day they come back with new fruit. 
which is great. All right, we're good. And there should be a crate here. Yep. Usually in there. All right, what is this? I don't remember this thing here. Scrap metal. All right. We've got more of these canisters, and we have some more of these oxygen tanks. Okay, it seems like it's getting a little darker than expected here. The storm. I don't expect on the first day being down here, I'll tell you. Not something you expect. I do want to check out the drop ship sometime, but drop ship sometimes because it's good. You guys, there's another one of these. All right, so I'm flying a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm also having a hard time right now. I know I need to hunt those aliens, but I'm having a hard time surviving this already. Uh, there is that aircraft or spacecraft up here. Oh, something is hitting us, Frank. Okay, go back to first person so I can see what the hell's going on. Where is it? Or is it just the weather? It might be the weather. Oh, God, I hope I remember where the hell this was. There's some gases and stuff. We can get those. I don't know where the hell we're at. If I follow this ridge, I should be able to find it. And maybe I could take cover in there. Yeah, I don't know where we're at. It's so bloody dark. Holy crap. And I'm worried about our light uh, extinguishing. Oh, there it is. I could barely see it. You guys could probably see better than I did. Okay. Can I use this for cover? Okay. That's that's new. I guess they're doing something with that. We'll take all these as a cloth. Okay, so that's uh that's over with. That's good. And this area is pretty darn big. So you know what I'm gonna probably do is make myself a temporary shelter or something over here. I don't know if I can uh, build anything yet or craft those structures, but we'll see if we can. All right, so we have a whole bunch of stuff here you can make, and you have, like, the regular crafting, and it's going to grow as we go. And, of course, we need to make ourselves a scrap metal workbench and such. We'll make one of those. And we also have some uh, rock defensive walls. You do have to be careful that they will attack these things. And, of course, we can make ourselves skeleton pods, and we have ourselves a crab hut and a scrap hut, which I just need a couple more uh, patch tapes. So I did grab some stuff. So if we can make a couple more of those patch tapes... Let's make the cloth really quick because I don't want to go through that again and I believe we can save and then uh, make our way out we don't have to stay here forever and build our base here we can make a temporary base and then build ourselves out and make ourselves something really nice all right that's pretty good make a couple of these two at the same time good looks like I'm out of goodies all right so uh yeah it's time for us to uh make ourselves what we need here which is gonna be that little structure dude Boom! Let's do. <laughs> okay. I don't want to be underground. Again, it's not a finished product, so as you saw, the fine little area there we did. Didn't work out as well as I thought there. Going in that aircraft and then not be able to go in there. Usually we can. I'm not sure why. We can. We can also lower that. That's great. And then right-click to move it around. Okay. Seems like the wind was going that. Well, that way. It's fine. Is it that way? No, it's that way. <laughs> All right, so F to confirm the build. Then you just press it again, and then what you do is you hold down and bang. You get yourself a little shelter. Let's activate this baby. Good stuff. We will get alien meat and other things. We'll need to work on that. You can also sleep for the night. We're going to do that for one only and only one reason, because I can't see a single thing, and I'm done with this. Darkness. All right, so it's early enough in the morning. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I can see there, and... Uh, yeah, all right. We slept a little bit. It does us good. I don't understand the slash 1048. Is that sunset? I don't know what the hell that means. Anyways, we're all good. We can actually now fight if we want to and such. We actually are under this big area here. Wow, it looks pretty darn stunning, doesn't it? It looks really cool. And a good way to start is always having that base going to get the little set respawn. We got that already, didn't we? Yeah, set respawn points plus 15 and respawn. Yeah, I got that, dude. Is it activated? What the hell? Is it activated or not? I, I don't know. I'm holding it down. I'm, I'm not seeing anything. Um, okay. I don't know. Maybe we weren't supposed to do that just yet. We need to go and kill something before I can build the bench because I don't want to screw up on a tutorial. And then we'll uh, we'll deal with that. We're going to switch over to our good blade. And I'm sure we're going to find some aliens here. Usually down here, there was tons of skeletons, which meant means actually there is some aliens and such around this area. 
So let's go and take a look over here. There's some more skeleton pieces. I do want to make myself a storage crate very shortly because I'm going to run out of space. I'm a 79, and yeah, it's it's getting a little low. It's all good, though. I mean, I don't mind, but I just I need to get rolling. There's some iron there. Look at that. We're going to need ourselves a much better pickaxe than what we got for that. Does this work better with this? But it degrades, right? That's a problem. What am I getting from this? I didn't even see it. Tree bark. Okay, so different things for different pro. All right, cool. If we already need tree bark, we know how to get that now. Let's grab the little berries. We'll check out the plants too if we only get something else from them because uh, usually we're picking them up and we're getting just the fibers I need. Don't get me wrong. I just want to test it out and see what we get from these. All right, grab this. What do you get from that? You should actually get the fern, I think. Yeah, else than, <laughs> else than getting the fiber. We'll grab the nice fiber. We need that. Maybe it's to plat those. Cactoid. Wish these things give me like some kind of fruit. You know, a little fruit attached to it or something. All right, there's definitely more alien stuff here. We should see an alien or two around there. Oh, God, here comes the stuff, dudes. Whoa. Now, we get some plutonium and other things, I think, in those... Uh, those asteroids and stuff right now we don't really need it i'm i'm desperately seeking any kind of creatures and it's weird i usually i, I wouldn't be looking for them but uh now we need the food and we also uh, need to uh, get as much as possible so i think we're a little heavy if i'm not mistaken also stamina issues but we're going to be very very careful with our weight here which i'm grabbing some sheddings and stuff now what do i need for the talon and stuff for the uh axe here the pickaxe this one here we're going to need What's the site? Okay, this ends up being a pickaxe, not mistaken. We're going to need that. And that, of course, if you're wondering right there, it takes up three talents. That's why I was looking for them. Some branches, which we picked up also. And, of course, makeshift patch tape. Great stuff. We also have a shovel and other things. Pick up sand. All right. We have an antenna. Fragment of antenna could be fashioned into a crude precision tool. Okay, precision tool. Cool. Yeah, whatever. Whatever makes you happy, dude, I'm all good with it. We're going to just grab this. Where did it go? Did it go in my inventory already? There it is. And again, this knife is almost done for, so got to be a little careful now. I'm going to have to go and craft myself some stuff. This is another one. This is, okay, the mine C beta. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything to fight here whatsoever. Okay, we might have to drop off some stuff here. I am thinking I'm just going to drop off those little ferns we just got. Worry about those another time and drop those off and tree bark for now. I'm probably going to need them afterwards, but we're going to need to also be a little bit lighter on our feet here. Maybe craft up some stuff. It'll make us a little lighter. Some cloth because it does take like two for each. Let's make a bunch of that. Good. Uh, not exactly the lightest. I dropped some stuff off because I saw the uh, fine creature. I know it's easier in third person. I'll test out boats once we get a little bit better off. Just press V for first person if you're wondering. Also check out your key bindings unless you change it up. All right. Combat proficiency. We have to actually spend our points too. I didn't spend anything yet. And this is the reason why too. I want to get some stuff. We're going to skin this baby up. We should. Oh, shite. No, no, no. I need the knife. <gasps> no, I need the meat. It's a knife for that. I guess we got one of them. Usually they're pretty... There's usually like more than one around with each other. I'm just happy to see it's not like a mistake in the game. They forgot to put the creatures in. But uh, usually there's more than one going on here. I don't know where he went. He might have slid down from the top over here. Let's go and take a double check. And then we're going to have to go make ourselves that bench. We can make uh, the building bench. Oh, there you go. We can make it now. And kill two creatures. But maybe they just want to kill two. All right, there's our fine aircraft, and we put our our stuff right here for now, temporarily. That works. Okay, probably should have had it on the other side. I wish we could just take it apart, but it's all good. All right, so still not. Is it activating? Ready in four minutes, fifty nine seconds. Oh, all right, I get it now. <laughs> I didn't see a top left there. The right is really, really light. Okay, so let's make ourselves a bench. We need one of those, and it's going to be scrap metal. We're going to need some patch tape for that. Is that the one they want us to make, right? Correct. Workbench itself. Let's see if that is the one. 
And we're over here, utilities, workbench. This is now unlocked. We're going to need three patch tapes for that. Let's craft three patch tapes. Okay, utilities. And I'm not sure what the difference is. A small makeshift storage unit, a makeshift workbench fashioned with scrap metal that can be used for crafting and repairing items and crucial for survival. Let's make it. We'll just make a, a thing around us. That's okay. All right, so let's rotate this around. That looks good right there. Okay. And we've got to make ourselves some storage too if we can. All right, so we can use this baby up and it gives us a whole bunch of stuff now. Once we come in here, we can make ourselves like, oops, leather and it'll just craft up the leather for us. The hide I took off from the fine little creature. I can make leather straps if we want to. I'm not sure. I think we need those, by the way, really quick. Uh, there is a crude pipe. Oh, no, we're going to need those later on to fashion other things. Crude, oh. Metal blade. I need a... Um, I need a survival knife soon because I'm going to need that for this. But this is a crude metal blade. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Let's go and check us out. Craft a chisel, you see? There we go. So the chisel itself, the chisel is needing what? Uh, all right, where's a crude one? <laughs> Must be. That's an expensive one. There's a makeshift one here. So I need a pipe and I got the leather. You see, I think I, I remember that a little bit. From last time we played, so we're good. Just gonna make some pipes. It can leave this in here. Storage It's great. Stop for a second. We'll make one thing at a time. Let's not waste our materials. We need everything here. Okay, so this is good. This is gonna save us some time. I'm not sure if this is better. It is considered a melee weapon. 5 to 19. Wow, that's a pretty good shot, not baby. Depending on what we hit with that. Oh. And this is really meant for mining, so. Okay, that's good to know. Move this down, move this down, and we'll take our chisel over here. These will be our weapons. Uh, definitely a good thing to kind of mess with. All right, uh, barrel crafted. All right, why well, would we need to barrel craft when I found one? But sure. Let's make a barrel in these pipe, right? Was it patch tape? Oh. Can we make patch tape in here too? Does not let me do it? Oh. Okay. Again, uh, trying to use the least amount of stuff as possible. Because we already have the barrels, so it's kind of weird to make me make one, but okay. We're good. We'll stack. Oh, this is a different one. These are broken ones. Oh, I see. Good stuff. All right, build the furnace. Roger that. I think we have to do that in our own inventory here. Crafting. Is there structures here? Yeah, there we go. Metal furnace, which we're going to need two pipes and two of those. Okay, so. Uh oh, we got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, could I just craft up one thing before you make me do it? I know it's going to piss off the game most likely, but I'm going to try to make myself a scrap chest ASAP. Uh, we need these big time just to store our stuff out. I'm not sure if the creatures can break them or not, but it's all good. We'll try our best. Leave us here. Maybe a little distance. I'm not sure if we upgrade these or not. And this will be able to store our stuff in. Just want to get my feet underground for the first night and rock this. I'm talking about rocks. We're going to place that in there. Just going to shoot that in there. And if we find anything else, it's great. So we're just going to dump in a whole bunch of goodies. We're going to need to eat in about two seconds anyways. Some uh, ripped up cloth. We can utilize to make cloth with it too. Some stuff we're not going to need right now. Alien hide could be handy. Again, we'll just have to remember we have that. Some lead and some scrap rubber. And, uh, of course, these bandages can go together here with any kind of problems. We'll need the food and stuff. Plasticos. We'll put that in there and there. There we go. Nice. Nice little storage area. we got our stuff in there. And that's what we need. We need this for crafting, though. All right. Uh, again, red berries are friend. We're going to eat those. Just look at my hydration again up here. And my food. We'll need to find ourselves another base with a whole bunch more of these. I know I can put in my inventory and stuff, but I just don't feel like slicing it around. All right, that's good enough. All right, so I need to find more five by delicious. We got that one over there. Let's go to this little forest and see if there's anything else we can grab. Let's go back in first person. Maybe this one will give us a little more bang for a buck. I don't see those fine little trees we need. Probably a good idea 
Let's put up a marker here. Where's it? Three? Can I put a marker? I was able to do it before. There you go. Marker. I don't know. Marker one. Does that help at all? Or is that something that stays? It does stay. Good, good, good. So on our top map, now we should be able to see. See, there you go. Little markers in greenish or aqua. Whatever color. Uh, there's some fiber right here. And there's a base that's broken. Okay. So good thing we went out and did that. Where's my... What did I get for this? Nothing. Where's my knife? There it is. Oh, this one's not even real? What the hell? Or am I just too close to it? No. Okay. With tungsten. You guys are real good. I think I might have screwed it up by placing this. Okay, let's see what we get for this. Getting in fiber. Okay, the same thing. Oh, it's just a whole lot freaking faster, dudes. I'm liking that a lot. All right, we should be able to chisel some of these rocks. Not these ones, but there's some that are. And there's a base up here. So we're going to salvage up what we can from there. And maybe get ourselves some goodies. And you can actually use a salvaging gun too. Let's just check out our skills too at the same time. I'm going to need to uh, look at that. There's missions, of course, up here. Discoveries and your skills. We want to increase our skills as much as we possibly can. Our points on the bottom here, science, is at 75. So right here. That's a pretty good amount. Holy crap. And decrease water like that. Increase medicine potency. Good idea. What we have here increases fruit yield. Yes. Need more than that. That's good. Faster plant growth. Available plant growth speed. That's something that's cool. Boost fruit nutrition. And I'm out of points, right? Am I out of points? I have six points left. All right. That's not going to grab anything. Increasing fruit yield. And this one is eight. Increases solar panel output. Oh, so much stuff. Okay, combat points. We have uh, six points at it. Right here, gun durability. Probably a good idea. Decrease. What does that say? Super H. Yeah, we'll take that. And right over here, science. Uh, hover boots. Let's do it because I had a little bit of a problem. Craft faster. Craft higher health. Okay, salvage bonus. Oh, I should have grabbed that. That's disappointing. Oh, we have friends in all the wrong places. That is meat, though. We got to make sure we switch over to our... Oh, is it... why is he green? Is he green? Did it say shush to him? That pickaxe looks pretty darn gnarly. Oh, my God. This guy's a little tougher than the other one. Build furnace. I'm going to try and build the damn furnace. Didn't oh, crap. Thank God I got 20% more. Oh, shit. We're just going to salvage this. That one didn't work out as well as I thought it would. I thought everything was okay until I started messing around with that thing. All right, we need to uh, take care of our soup breach, though. I know. My bad, dude. My bad. Let's go back over here. Use this. Thank you. We need more plant fiber and stuff, but maybe we'll get lucky and find some good stuff here, including some tape and other things. Uh, look at all the stuff we're grabbing right now. Magn some, some oh, rubber too. Some different kind. Okay, open this up. Oh, look at this. Some tanks. We even got this. I wish we could take the, the storage unit. We can't. I think we can destroy it if we want to, but I believe this stuff comes back. Hello. Gun's broken, though. Looks like the gun is broken. Uh, which one of these should I slide over for? Just this for now. All right, yeah, let's just take these. What are these? Very. Is this for the uh, gun? Yeah. So if we need to, we can take out the uh, little bum. I guess we're going to have to go get some sleep and uh, deal with this guy here afterwards. Oh, we got water here, dudes. Oh, yes. And grab a little bit of this. So the gun has a couple of shots left into it. Uh, right over here, too. Uh, we can begin repairs on this, too, if we want to. I think I read somewhere in the forums that there is a little bug that's going on with that. And I'm not sure if it's been fixed or not. But we see the bug over there that's running around. I'm going to try it. And he's, yeah, I think he's poisonous or something. 
That's new. It's one shot, one kill. Where's my gun broken? I think the gun is broken. Yeah, she's finished. Well, that's great. Now I pissed it off. Just what you want to do, Game Edge. Why don't you go over there and piss him off? What's my weight like, by the way, Curly? I'm at 38 pounds. I can do a whole bunch of uh, salvaging right now. So I'm going to go around and grab this really quick. Again, a lot of this stuff will be done off camera most of the time. But the first episode, I always like to kind of roll with this and showcase you know, the, the struggle we go through. There's some more fiber down there, too. It would be great to get. And like I said, you can rebuild this thing up here, too, if I'm not mistaken. Or uh, dismantle it, too. All right. I'm not sure if we get more stuff for the dismantling. I think we do. Yeah. Bye bye. I'm not going to build here, anyways. Some aluminum, too. Get repair us. Just hoping we can dismantle that. Maybe it's because I'm staying on it. I don't know. Or maybe it just stays. Really quick dismantling. I'll tell you that right now. Begin repair us in this one, too. All right. So nothing we can do for that. He is super unhappy with me right now, by the way. <laughs> oh, I could feel him just like his little antenna is trying to hurt me there. We might have a little bit of a problem with this too, but thankfully enough, we do have, of course, some health kits. We just got some more, uh, some more tape. That's always nice to have. All right, so there's one more chest there. Look how lucky we are right now. We just found a battery and another one of these containers. Just great. We'll do go and get ourselves some goodies with that. All right, I think we're going to need to get ourselves out of here. We need to kill this thing, by the way, ASAP. Our health is somewhat decent, and I think I can try the pickaxe on this dude. Oh, it just jumped on him, I think. Well, that's going to be more difficult than night, eh? All the stupid bugs. I forgot about those things. All right, I don't think we can eat this, this food in here. Hmm. Something shiny over there. Tissue. I'm butchering it. I didn't get anything from that. Okay. Well. Try out something else, I guess, afterwards. I'm pretty sure we got some meat last time. Did I get meat at all in this one? Just tissue. Yeah. Maybe it's because he's poisonous. One. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's go back in first person here. Uh, thankfully enough, again, we put the... Is there a bug coming? Sounds like something's floating around me on my left. I think it's my light that's making that sound. All right, we need to get back before this uh, storm starts being a big problem. And, uh, yeah, thankfully enough, like I said, we put a marker on there, so it should be a lot easier for us to find our way back. And we do have enough berries and stuff, I think, for the night just to build up our last thing. So we're going to do a sleep tonight. And I'll see you guys in the morning. We'll build the last, at least the furnace to get rolling. And here you go. Somebody's probably going to ask what this is. Right over here, this is tungsten. 7.5 hardness. We are far away from that. We can't hit this with the tool we have currently. It's just not strong enough. So, yeah, something we have to watch out for. Thankfully enough, we are close to all this wonderful vegetation. Only thing is, not very many buried trees, but cloth is good. I need it, so let's do it. All right, so I was able to sleep, but it can't really change how many hours you're going to sleep. So it's kind of strange. We do have a gun, and we're armed and dangerous. We're armed and dangerous. We just can't do anything with the gun. All right, so let's craft up what we need to craft up over here and get this one done like I promised. And I'm still going to need two pipes and makeshift. All right. So let's make the cloth. You know what? I think I could just do this so much easier. We can actually just really make a roll if we want to. We can grab that. And I don't see the makeshift stuff. So I think this we need to grab it and make it on our own inventory currently. All right. And then... An structures over here what utilities there we go and i need two pipes let's do the pipes get two of those going okay stop that that's okay i guess i can leave the cloth i really want to and we have the two pipes we're rocking this these don't stack roger that okay furnace Love the little sizzle stuff that shows up when it does that. Uh, maybe we'll put the first on this side here. I don't know. I know you can get water beforehand. I think it needs a battery and stuff. That's why I was happy to see it. I'm not positive which side is which. So I'm going to go with the one it gave me like this. Uh, right. Whoops. Sorry. There we go. 
Perfect. All right, so openings up, and all these things can be upgraded usually. I'm not sure if this one can. Right now, I don't see it. The upgrade ability, no. Fuel items. Any fuel item, all right. Uh, sticks and stuff, I guess. Let's, let's do that here. Liquid tank unlocked. A whole bunch of stuff just got unlocked. Uh, let's let's grab that. Let's put the fuel in here. I don't have coal or anything, so it's not going to help. And where's my fuel item here? There we go. And add fuel to it. So you can just kind of put your stuff in here and just go add fuel. And after that, you go back to the right. So you have to kind of look for the bottom there and refuel and stuff. You can press G if you want. You can do charred meat. It looks like it uses, uh, yeah, the tissue is a meat. Gotcha. We're going to get some food finally. And I believe this is good for us. Yes, it is. Let's eat one of these. Let's see what it looks like. It's not bad. I'll have to kill off a couple more of those. All right. Did I get more tissue in here? Or I got only leather when I skinned him. Yeah. All right. Pretty good. All right. Good start for the day. Uh, what we're going to end up doing is uh, we can actually make the brass if we want to. All right. So we're crafting it up. We also craft up glass and other things as we're going through this. And a whole bunch of stuff just opened up, by the way, uh, for us to make. So we have a liquid tank, too, to work on. We need to get iron ore. It's going to take a while. We need to get ourselves something a little better. Uh, we can also put markers and stuff here and make our life a lot easier. Also, a small radar dish which also now installation will improve the, your sight so we can see up to 400 meters away. Again, I'm hoping I'm going to find a little buggy I heard they added to it, which is really great. We can fix it up and get ourselves going. And hopefully it's already fixed up. It'd be kind of nice. Anyways, thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. Again, if you guys are enjoying this series, you want to see a whole lot of it and see all the progression this game has been going through, again, hit the like button if you can, of course, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. You guys are the best. This game, I just, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.